Welcome back to uh, making a crook in plywood. Next stage is varnishing, but before we varnish, we need to just seal the timber and um, leave that to dry and give it a rub down. So I always use a sanding sealer. I'm not advertising nothing to do with me. That's just what I use. So give that a good shake. Put your gloves on. And uh, I'm quite happy using towels, I don't use brushes, uh, you end up with uh, hairs coming off and this is good enough just to apply uh, a bit of sanding sealer to, uh, to your timber. Now you really want to do this, um, it seals the grain, uh, it'll lift it a wee bit, you can give it a rub down with some uh, sandpaper and start to get a nice smooth finish. And once you're happy with that, you can then varnish. Right, so that's the head done. You put that aside, let it dry. It dries very, very quickly. Um, you can then uh, give that a rub and uh, see if you need any more and then proceed to the varnishing. Now we're just going to do the shank. This will take a little bit longer. We'll just do the top end. Now we've, we've removed the um, tape with the mark on, but we've still got our black mark on the, uh, the top of the shank. So we know where we're at. So once I've finished this, we'll come right back. Right, here we are again. So uh, our sanding seal is dry. We need to give all the surfaces a bit of a rub. And the uh, grain that stood, that can be flattened. And um, if we're happy with that, then we can go to the varnishing. Now I'll carry on with this in a minute. I have varnished with um, a brush. I used to use polyurethane and uh, thin it down with um, some uh, spirit and use a 50-50 mix. It was very good. Uh, it used to take a long time. It's about uh, two or three coats on a day and um, it could take quite a while to uh, to finish your stick. I've now found a, um, a spray on varnish which I'm just trying for the first time and um, I quite like it, I wouldn't call it varnish, it's uh, a coating. So um, the sort of thing we can do is um, we use a, you've, you've seen these uh, clamps, clamp with a, a hook in it and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll spray the actual um, handle and then we can hang it up to dry. You have to keep a watch if you've got any drips but with a, with a spray you shouldn't really have any, uh, any drips. If you're varnishing by, uh, by a brush then as I say you need to keep an eye on it, especially if you thin your varnish down. Um, for, the, um, for the shank, what we have is a little peg that will drop in the top. That gives me something to hold on to while I either um, spray or, or brush the, um, the varnish on. And again, we've got a, a clamp that will sit on the top there. And you can hang your stick up and let that dry. So. Um, We'll carry on sanding now and then when we're ready to, to varnish we'll come back. See you again. Right before um, we've done a bit of sanding now, uh, but before you do any varnishing you really need to get rid of all the dust you've created um, off um, your head and off your stick and the thing to do is use what they call a tack cloth. This is a bit grotty, a bit dirty, a bit old um, I need to go and get a new one out but uh, you can buy these from the decorating shops, um, 
especially if you've got an industrial supplier somewhere near you, you'll get a big bag of them and they last you for absolute ever. Uh, absolutely perfect they are for uh, doing this job. Uh, Same with the shank, give it a rub down, get rid of all the dust on it. And that's about ready now for uh, its first coat. Now, again we're not advertising but this is a spray I use, it's a coating. Um, I'll probably use this, uh, give this, give, give, give the stick three or four coats of this and um, it's very very durable, it's quick and I do like it. Now ordinarily I wouldn't spray it here because if there's dust in the atmosphere I will go somewhere the, the air is free of dust but for the purposes of the, uh, the video we're just going to uh, spray on camera. If we get dust on this uh, we can always rub down once it's um, uh, it's dry. So the trick really is to keep this moving, don't put too much on and if you've got light use the light to see where you need to uh, be spraying. So that'll do for the first application. To say that can be hung up now. <clears throat> I'm just going to go off camera while we hang this up. I have a frame that uh, <clears throat> I use for uh, hanging all my, my varnishing. It was a you'd call it a varnishing station. You could stand sticks up in it. You could um, hang sticks from it. And there was a drip tray in the bottom and um, that would collect all the, the surplus varnish when I was brushing varnish on as I say I used to put very thin coats on. Same with the stick now, keep the thing moving, try and get a reflection off the shank, see where your spray is going. You probably want to wear a mask while you're spraying this, especially if the wind's in the wrong direction. And if you hang this up in the house to dry it will smell the place out a bit. Right, will be all right for the first coat. As I say, wouldn't normally varnish in here or polish in here. But uh, for the purposes of the video, we are doing so. We're going to let that dry and we'll do a succession of coats and uh, we'll see what they're like when we finish. Thank you very much.